If they talk, and I still got it, but you're really spirit and son, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Thanks, man. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is uh, a video about the burbs, but it has nothing to do with the burbs. But this is an example of my Lord King, Jesus Christ, has showed me about being growth. Now, what's going to happen? I will put a Bible verse in Revelation. I think it's Revelation chapter 18, I think. Verses 24, all the way down to the last chapter. I mean, I mean last verse. Sorry, I'm the last verse, everyone. Sorry. Uh, of that chapter um, in Revelation 18. Um, I just want to let you know that um, Beam and Grove, they're going to, uh, and they, let me tell you, everyone, what God told me about this one night, and in the morning, I mean, early in the morning, um, the, about the blood of saints and, and prophets and everything like that, if you have your Bibles with you, uh, to read that. Uh, because what that means is that not only Hollywood has these type of things going on, uh, the blood of prophets, the blood of saints, and stuff like that. But Beaming Grove is one of those grounds. And I'm going to tell you what God has showed me. And there's a scene in the movie of the Burbs. Uh, if you guys like that one right there, the Attar, bo Boiler Company, the ugly face looking, demonic looking creep right there. It looks like Satan right there. But the thing is that um, Beaming Grove has a lot of massacres of children. And a lot of people as well when sacrifice them. But what do they do with the bodies when they sacrifice them? Well, that's what's going to happen to Beaming Grove and it explodes because God told me this little somewhat like a boiler room right here. The boiler room, the little furnace, actually it's a furnace. Uh, remember that scene in wedding? God gave me a scene. When I went to uh, Tom Hanks, it was all being hysterical. He said, I hit the, I think he said, I hit the. The gas line. So get out. I hit the gas line. Boom. The house exploded like this right here. Boom. Like that. The boiler, the boiler room or the furnace where they put the dead bodies that they sacrifice at being both will explode. It will explode. The the remains will be all over the place of the blood of the prophets and the blood of the saints and stuff like that. And everyone that was, was it Father Slain of the Earth from the Earth? Or slain on the earth or something? I'm sorry, thanks. And it's something like that in God's word. But yeah, when that happens, when Beaming Grove blows up, I mean the underground, because it's underground. The furnace is underground, just like it, just like in this movie. But this thing is big, this furnace, just like the movie, but a little bit more bigger, bigger, like like a big size, size of a half of a good size kitchen, the, the furnace. Like like uh, like that. It's gonna blow up underground. It's gonna feel like an earthquake shook, and the California is gonna feel it. We're gonna be thinking that there's an earthquake. Boom! And the fire and is gonna blast all of Beaming Grove all on flames. One of these days, by accident or by on purpose, but it's gonna happen. Oh, purpose! Thank you, Father. Purpose. And one of these days, that fire is going to go all the way down to Hollywood. That's how Hollywood's going to be up in flames by all this sacrificial garbage stuff that's coming from Beaming Grove. People are going to be smelling flesh, dead remains, bones all over the place, things that were from underground from Beaming Grove. It's going to be disgusting. Now, I will admit, I will insist, if my Lord allows me to insist, thanks, you really will need a mask when you smell this nasty stuff that these people, Satanists, have done over there. It's going to be smelly, stinky. It's going to be like hell. But hell's a lot more worse than what's going to be put on here. The, now, I want you to know that that's what it means, and like the Lord told me about Revelation chapter 18, verse 24, about the blood of the prophet, the blood of saints, or something like that, and all those that slain on the earth, because it is not only where it's at in Hollywood, it is also in that place. That city will be burned by the same stuff that's way over there in the Sonoma Valley and Beaming Grove way over there. The fire not only from underground, it's going to blast from underground. A big boom. I just hear that big boom when God showed me on the burbs one night, one morning early. He said, it's going to blow, hit the gas line or something like that. And in the furnace, if anyone watches this movie, the furnace sounds like this. Clack and clack, boom, like that. 
But who knows what this sound? It's but God gave me the example. It's gonna explode. People are gonna have to evacuate the city. It's gonna be all over the place. The fire is gonna be allowed by God to burn everything down. Of that whole forest, that cursed forest, that cursed town, that cursed everything, and then soon it'll get burn everything of Hollywood down to the ground, pretty much probably. Oh well, thanks, son. I hope this is informative. God wanted me to share this with you. Um, but that's what Revelation chapter 18 verse 24 means. That's why a lot of these Satanists are going to freak out because all these bodies and remains of people will be thrown out in the midst of all the police, all the people, people in the city, people in the town, everywhere. We'll find out. It'll be all over the news. There will be Satanic stuff. All over. It's almost like in the movie. If it's okay, Father, if I say this really quick, thanks. Remember this man right here. Remember this man right here. I forgot his name. He's the neighbor of Tom Hanks uh, in the movie. I don't know if I have enough time to say this, but remember when he was talking about that famous uh, story of some ice cream man back in the summer or something, and it stunk really bad in his house because he put the body remains in the house and it was like in a fridge or a refrigerator that's exactly what it's going to be kind of like when you start smelling all that nasty stuff but instead of the summer it's not summer which i don't really know if it's going to be summer it is a thanks but but it, what's going to happen is that people are going to start smelling what's burning from all the fire from the furnace exploded in beaming grove it's going to blow up it's going to be people are going to feel it it's big it's a big giant furnace god told me you're going to feel it. it's going to shake in the California Valley. You're going to feel it. People are going to say, is there an earthquake? But then there's going to be fire and smoke and pollution more on the earth. And it's going to be of all the body parts and the remains and this flesh smell all over the place because of what these people have done. Hidden in plain sight. Oh yeah, and that little story that, I don't know what, what Mr., I forgot his name, the neighbor, but... God told me, I think a long time ago, that that story that that man was talking about, the neighbor right there, uh, in Burbs, uh, it's actually true. I don't forgot where it's, he, where it's leaning. I don't know if it's John Wayne Gacy or, or I don't know if it's John Wayne Gacy or I don't know if it's some other serial killer. I think it actually happened. Um, it, it probably wasn't John Wayne. No, it wasn't. Thanks. It wasn't John Wayne Gacy. It was some other person. I forgot. I have to do more research on that one. But it's based on actual murder. But I forgot who was murder. Who was but um, it actually did happen. It's not just some make-believe thing in this movie. But yeah, it's going to happen, everybody. Someday in the not-too-distant future, bam, like that. I mean, I just saw, I just had this expression. My, my God gave me this, the, this thing, I'm like, the, 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 what, the example. I'm like, wow. I mean, it sounds, it's going to sound like, hey, clank, 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 bam. Because somebody hit the gas pipe. Oh, and another thing, here's a warning for all you people that have this, and I know this is something that we all should know, but the thing is that uh, don't you, don't ever, and God tells me this, don't ever be playing around with gas stoves and then you hit the gas line or you play around with matches or you play around with a furnace because with a furnace, you do hit a gas line on a furnace, then automatically that thing is going to blow up in minutes. That's why there's no time unless you just drop everything and get to, get out. So that's another warning for anyone that is younger, older, or whoever else that needs to be reminded, even myself. But oh, this is encouraging. May God bless you all. Peace.